Christmas everyone! Welcome to Christmas time, isn't it amazing? I hope your morning has been good so far. Thank you for joining us for this short time of worship as we celebrate the Christ child being born. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin, be born in us today. On this day we call upon the Christ who is a child to cross the bridges of story and space. Be present with us now. On this day the Christ child comes to us as word made flesh. Come and dwell with us today. On this day the Christ child comes to announce as a realm of peace. Take up your place at the centre of our lives. And I invite you to join with us in singing as we sing our first song from the squalor of a borrowed stable. From the squalor of a borrowed stable, by the spirit and a virgin's faith. To the anguish and the shame of scandal Came the saviour of the human race But the skies were filled with the praise of heaven Shepherds listen as the angels tell Of the gift of God come down to man At the dawning of Emmanuel of heaven now the friend of sinners humble servant in the father's hands filled with power and the holy spirit filled with mercy for the broken man yes he walked my road and he felt my pain joys and sorrows that i know so well yet his righteous steps give me Kisses of a friend's betrayal He was lifted on the cruel cross He was punished for a world's transgressions He was suffering to save the lost Seating for his own beloved Till his father calls to bring them home Then the skies will part and the trumpet sounds Hope of heaven or the fear of hell But the bride will run to her lover's arms Glory to Emmanuel On this Christmas day, let's come before God in prayer and pray with praise and thanks. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. 
accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. We praise you, God, for Jesus Christ, fully God and fully human. We praise you, God, for Jesus, who was born in a manger as one of us. It shows us how much you love the world, how much you love us. We praise you, God, for the light that we see at Christmas time. Let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Amen. And Drew is going to come and read us that story of how Jesus came as a baby to Bethlehem. The birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what, they, what had been told about them, about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Drew, I invite you to join with us me now as we sing that lovely carol, O Holy Night.
obviously on Christmas morning, it's traditional for us to find out what presents everybody else has got. Well, tell us what some of the presents are. We probably don't want to know some of them. Obviously this year it's a little bit different. But you can pop in the chat, um, um, type in the chat what you've got for Christmas if you'd like to share. Um, only those really appropriate things though. I'm wondering who is having a special meal at some point today. My guess is that most of us will be having some sort of special meal. I wonder what your dinner table's going to look like. Will there be flowers on it? Candles maybe? In my family, we traditionally have party poppers on our Christmas dinner table which when you've got candles in the middle of the table is always a bit of fun because you aim for the light fixture in the middle of the ceiling which is directly above the candle so if you aim it really well the party poppers trail down and almost set fire to from the candle. I have to say I don't think we've ever done it but maybe we have. One thing I'm guessing that most of us will have on our Christmas table is crackers. They vary a lot don't they? You can get really good crackers and some that are, well, maybe not quite so good. There are usually certain features that are the same in crackers. They often have a joke inside of them. They have a little gift. And we're going to, I'm going to get Neil here to come and pull the cracker now so we can see what this one's got in it. I don't know if it's a good one or a not so good one. Oh, excellent. I want a cracker. Oh, so let me empty out the cracker here. Okay, so here's the joke. Are you ready? Why did the music teacher need a ladder? To get to the high notes. Yeah, I know. It's not great, is it? The jokes, to be honest, are normally terrible, aren't they? Do you know, you may well wonder what a joke has to do with Christmas. Well, I think it's this, that jokes are meant, when they're not out of a cracker, to make us laugh. Laughter represents the joy and the happiness that Jesus brings into the world. So we can find joy in the love and care that God has for us. This cracker, has questions on it as well to get information. Some of them have a fact in them, don't they? That's that bit of truth. What have facts got to do with Christmas? They don't feel very Christmassy, do they? I mean, who wants to find out true facts on the best day of the year? Do you know what though? I think it's a good reminder for us for Christmas. There are facts that we need to remember. That Jesus was an ordinary person who was born in an absolutely ordinary place. Another fact we could remember. The first visitors to Jesus were outsiders. They were those people that don't normally mix with other people. They were the shepherds from the hills. Another fact and about the visitors too, those wise men, the Magi, they really put themselves out to get to Jesus. That is an amazing fact. They went a long way to meet the new king. Another fact of Christmas that we might remember is that Jesus really was a baby and that just in every other baby grows into, a, into an older person, so Jesus did too. He grew into a man. He fulfilled prophecies, those promises that were made years and years before. And you can read all those promises in the Bible. Do you know what? I think they're the facts that we should celebrate this Christmas time. Another key feature in crackers is the crown. I find they're either too big or too small. I'm going to wear my crown with pride now. But why do crackers have a crown in them? A crown is for a king. But 
which king? Do you know there's more than one king in the Bible? In fact, in this part of the Bible that we're, that we're celebrating today, there are quite a few. I mean, there are, first of all, we, we call them, tend to call them the Magi, the wise men, but sometimes we call them the three kings, don't we? We three kings, perhaps it's one of those kings. Then there's King Herod, and then there's the newborn king. The crown reminds us of Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the King who came to save us all. And then I have the final part of this cracker, the gift. Now experience tells me that cracker gifts are generally poor. Often marbles, bookmarks, thimbles, those miniature little tiny jigsaws, or the best one of all, how many times, happy Christmases, have you been the one who's got that little plastic fish that you put on your palm of the hand and it curls up? It's meant to tell you everyone how you're feeling. Gifts. The gift of my cracker? Yeah, it's a projector with some shapes in it. It might be useful. It really might be useful actually. I'd love to find out what gifts you get in your crackers later. I bet yours will be better than mine. But you know, even these poor gifts, the worst ones we get, we can use to remind us of Christmas. It reminds us of the free gift that we have been given. The gift of Jesus, the gift of life, the best gift ever. Jesus is so many things. He is so many things. He's the wonderful counsellor the Bible tells us. He's our saviour. He's our friend. He's the prince of peace. They are all gifts to celebrate. Today, Christmas Day, a day to celebrate. A day to take a bit of it with us into every day that is to come. Let's celebrate today that Jesus lived a human life with all its frailty and suffering and that Jesus, because he lived a human life, knows how we're feeling. He knows about caring, he knows about happiness, he knows anger, sadness, joy. He knew what it was to be shouted at and to shout and he knew what it was to be silent. He knew grieving, he knew loneliness and he knew confusion. Jesus was such a great gift, the best gift ever. And those and so many more reasons are reasons that we celebrate today, Christmas Day. So when you pull your cracker later and you moan that your crown doesn't fit properly or it's split already, or you laugh at the gift and you groan at the joke, just take a moment, just as you do all those things, to then remember how these tokens, these small things, remind us of the greatest event and the greatest man ever. Happy Christmas. Let's pray. Father, in this unusual Christmas day, Bring afresh to us the wonder of what you did. And Father, as this day goes on today, I just pray that each and every person will be able to spend some time with you. To appreciate the gift that you are to them. And that you're a free gift and you're available to them right now. Lord, thank you that your gift is all about peace, all about joy, all about hope. And Lord, we, I pray that we will experience that today. And that for a brief period of time, we can forget all the other stuff that's going on in the world. And just marvel at the wonder of it all. In your name I pray. Amen. 
As we draw to a close this morning, we're going to sing that brilliant carol, O Come, All Ye Faithful. by singing that last verse of O Come All Ye Faithful. Just a quick reminder that we will be meeting again on Sunday at 10.45 for a short time of worship as we share with the EBA sermon and there'll be a chance to chat to each other 